let us start with our today discussion we will discuss today about cellular adaptation before that we have to know the introduction of pathology what is pathology what are the branches of pathology what is etiology what is pathogenesis etc introduction of pathology what are the characteristics of life cellular organization reproduction metabolism homeostasis heredity response to stimuli growth and development adaptation through evolution today discussion definition and branch of pathology what is normal homeostasis what are the core of pathology knowledge about etiology cellular response to injurious agents cellular adaptation the definition of pathology pathos means sorrows or sufferings logos means knowledge definition of pathology pathology is the branch of medical sciences which deals with the study of structural and functional changes in the cells tissues and organs that underlie disease clear in other word it is the bridging discipline between the basic science and clinical practice this is pathology this is the basic science this is the clinical practice what is pathology bridging discipline between the basic science and clinical practice clear what are the branches of pathology general pathology special pathology or systemic pathology what is general pathology branch of pathology that deals with the basic reaction of the cells tissues to an abnormal stimuli that underlie all diseases example cell injury inflammation hemodynamic alteration ulceration etc what is a special or systemic pathology branch of pathology that deals with the specific response of a specialized organ or tissues to more or less well defined stimuli pneumonia glomerulonephritis endocarditis clear what is general pathology basic reaction of the cells or tissues to an abnormal stimuli which underlie all diseases inflammation what is normal homeostasis what is normal homeostasis amra jeta bujhi je developmental bibhinno stage e bibhinno rokomer cell toiri hoy maturation differentiation hoy ultimately amader shorirer bibhinno ongo protongo gulo toiri hoy prottekta ongo protonger jonno alada alada cell ache alada alada function ache ei sob gulo cell ebong ei somosto bibhinno organer sathe ekta arakter sathe communication ache eta ekta একে অপরের সহযোগিতা এই সেলগুলো অর্গান টিস্যুগুলো বা ডিফারেন্ট অর্গানগুলো নর্মাল ফিজিওলজিক্যাল অ্যাক্টিভিটি করে এটা এই যে নর্মাল থাকে এটার নাম হলো নর্মাল হোমিওস্টাসিস তাহলে জিনিসটা কী দাঁড়াইল হোয়াট ইজ নর্মাল হোমিওস্টাসিস দি নর্মাল সেলস আর কনফাইন টু এ ফিয়ারলি ন্যারো রেঞ্জ অফ ফাংশন অ্যান্ড স্ট্রাকচার বাই জেনেটিক প্রোগ্রাম অফ মেটাবলিজম ডিফারেন্সিয়েশন অ্যান্ড স্পেশালাইজেশন বাই কনস্টেন্ট অফ ইস নেইবারিং সেলস and availability of the metabolic substrates and thus able to handle the normal physiologic demand and maintaining a steady state is called normal homeostasis this is a graphic representation normal condition stimulus change in internal environment detected by the receptor self regulatory corrective mechanism negative feedback normal condition clear homeostasis imbalance clear when imbalance the imbalance stimulus changes detected by the receptor input sent by efferent pathway to the control center output sent by efferent pathway effector response to change and imbalance corrected clear what are the core of pathology etiology pathogenesis morphology functional consequence what is etiology causes of disease 
What is pathogenesis? Mechanism of development of disease. What is morphology? This is the gross morphology or macroscopic features and microscopic features. Macroscopic open eye, khali soket dakha. Microscopic under microscope. And gross or macroscopic appearance and microscopic features. Structural alteration induced in cell and tissues. What we see under microscope? Structural alteration of the cells or tissues. Functional consequences, clinical features and diagnosis of the disease. Why is it important to know the etiology? Knowledge of etiology remains the backbone of understanding the nature of the disease, disease diagnosis, treatment of the disease to assess the prognosis of the disease. This is important. Disease formation by etiologic agents. One etiologic agent, one disease, one etiologic agent, several disease, several etiologic agent, one disease. Clear? One etiologic agent, one disease, tuberculosis caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. One etiologic agent, several disease, diphtheria organism causes pharyngitis and toxin causes myocarditis and other organ inflammation. Clear? Diphtheria should be exactly caused by mainly called gola pharyngitis. Or the toxin that bite kore, or toxin that our unknown organ inflammation kore, especially heart. One etiologic agent, several disease. Several etiologic agent, one disease. Hepatitis. Hepatitis may cause by virus, bacteria, chemical substances, toxins, etc. What are the cellular response to injurious stimuli? Cellular adaptation, acute cell injury, which again divide into reversible and irreversible cell injury. Reversible cell injury, cellular swelling, fatty chains. Irreversible cell injury, necrosis, apoptosis, necroptosis, pyroptosis. Subcellular alteration, chronic cell injury and cell inclusions. Intracellular accumulation, pathologic calcification, dystrophic calcification, metastatic calcification. Dystrophic calcification occur in non-viable tissue and metastatic calcification occur in viable tissue when calcium metabolism altered. Higher concentration of calcium. Process of cellular aging. Cellular adaptation, acute cell injury. Acute cell injury, reversible and irreversible cell injury. Reversible cell injury, cellular swelling, fatty chains. Irreversible cell injury, necrosis, apoptosis, necroptosis, pyroptosis. Subcellular alteration, chronic cell injury and cell inclusions. Intracellular accumulation, pathologic calcification, which again divide into dystrophic and metastatic calcification. Process of cellular aging. Stages of cellular responses to stress and injurious stimuli. This is the normal cells. This is stress, adaptation, injurious stimuli, cell injury. When adaptability not possible, then cell injury. Mild or transient injurious agent reverse to the normal. When severe and progressive irreversible cell injury, which are necrosis, apoptosis, pyroptosis, necroptosis, pyroptosis, apoptosis, necrosis. Now we are discussed about cellular abrasion. Cellular abrasion, atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, and dysplasia. These are the types of cellular adaptation. Atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia. This is a normal cells. This is atrophic cell. Cell become small due to reduced amount of cell substance. Less cells are large because increased amount of cell substance. Mitochondria increased, endothelial reticulum larger, mitochondria larger, endothelial reticulum larger. All cell components are increased. So it is hypertrophy. Metaplasia, this cell altered morphology. One type of cell altered into another type of cell of same type. This is a reversible sense. Then it is called metaplasia. We will discuss uh, details later. Dysplasia, abnormal development. 
large nucleus, small cytoplasm, this is abnormal development. The normal cell, atrophic cell, hypertrophic cell, hyperplasia, hyperplastic cell, metaplastic cell and dysplastic cells. Hyperplasia means number of cell increased, hypertrophy means cell size increased, atrophy means cell size reduced, metaplasia means alteration of the one type of cell to another of similar nature, it is a reversible changes, abnormal development of the cell. It again divide into mild, moderate and severe grade, we will discuss this later. What we discuss about cellular abstraction? Definition of cellular adaptation, characteristic of cellular adaptation, classification of the adaptation, molecular mechanism of adaptation. Next, def definition of different types of adaptation, atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia and dysplasia and also the cause of this type of adaptation, clinical significance of each type. What is cellular adaptation? Definition of cellular adaptation, excessive physiological stress or some pathological stimuli may bring about a number of new but altered physiologic and morphologic steady state and thus preserving the viability of the cells and modulating its function known as cellular adaptation. Another definition, it is the intermediate state between the normal unstressed cell and overstressed injured cells. At the bank asana. Sheet kale bank kutai thake. Kuno bank? Korte chilo jay. Hibernation jay. Ta nadur nudur bank jokon bear hoye arbe swamash pare abar gorom shumai. Ta kono ki size choto hoye jabe na? Ta le ki choto hoye gese tar? Ta shop kisu choto hoye gese. Tar muscle choto hoye gese. Tar heart choto hoye gese. Tar liver choto hoye gese. Bichhu. Shab organ. Pottekta celli choto hoye gese. Karon ki? Karon se jay cell substance gula asasthe kome gese. Jato tuku doorkar, tato tuku kas kore se baki ta nai. কিভাবে নাই কেন নাই বড় হলে কিভাবে প্রত্যেকটা মেকানিজম আমরা ধীরে ধীরে আলোচনা করব আর কি তাহলে দিস ইজ দা সোলার অ্যাডাপ্টেশন এক্সেসিভ ফিজিওলজিক্যাল স্ট্রেস অর সাম প্যাথোলজিক্যাল স্টিমুলাই মে ব্রিং अबाउट এ নাম্বার অফ নিউ বাট অল্টারড ফিজিওলজিক্যাল এন্ড মরফোলজিক্যাল স্টিডি স্টেট দাস প্রিজারভিং দা ভায়াবিলিটি অফ দি সেলস এন্ড মডুলেটিং ইটস ফাংশন নোন অ্যাজ সোলার অ্যাডাপ্টেশন সোলার অ্যাডাপ্টেশন সেলস আর এবল টু অ্যাডাপ্ট টু চেঞ্জ ইন ওয়ার্ক ডিমান্ডস or threats to survival by changing their size, number, form, maturation, anomaly. Normal cellular adaptation occurs in response to an appropriate stimuli and ceases once the need for adaptation has ceased. Clear kina? Mane jokhon ei stimuli gulo silo, tokhon ei poribatton gulo kore silo. Jokhon ei stimuli udra kora hobe, তখন ও রিভার টু নর্মাল যখন এই যে ওয়ান্স দ্য নিড ফর অ্যাডাপ্টেশান হ্যাজ সিস্ট অ্যাডাপ্টেশানের জন্য যেই কারণগুলো এখন দরকার লাগবে না তখন যেমন কর্নিক ইরিটেশান এখন নাই তখন ওটা আবার নর্মাল হয়ে যাবে ক্লিয়ার হোয়াট আর দ্য ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক অফ সেলুলার অ্যাডাপ্টেশান অ্যাডাপ্টেশান আর রিভার্সেবল প্রসেস ক্লিয়ার অ্যাডাপ্টেশান রিভার্সেবল প্রসেস রেসপন্স টু চেঞ্জ ইন দিয়ার ইনভায়রনমেন্ট Reversible changes can affect number, size, phenotype, metabolism, function of the cells. Cell come back to normal physiologic and morphologic steady state after cessation of the stimuli which evoke the changes. Types of adaptation, two types. Morphological types, etiological types. Morphological type, atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia. Etiological, physiological and pathological. Morphological type, atrophy, decrease in number and size of the cells, At hypertrophy, increase in size of the cells, hyperplasia, increase in number of the cells, metaplasia, transformation of one type of cell into another type of cell of similar nature, dysplasia, abnormal development of the cells. This is atrophy, size reduced, this is hypertrophy, size increased, this is hyperplasia, number of cell increase, this is metaplasia, one type of cell changes to another type, dysplasia, abnormal development, size shape alteration, hyperchromatic nucleus, nucleoli prominent, these are the dysplasia. 
What are the mechanism of cellular adaptation? Mechanism up or down regulation of especially cellular receptors. Receptor ligand binding, sending intracellular signaling to the nucleus to activate transcription factor which form the a specific messenger RNA. Increase or decrease protein synthesis, switch from producing one type of protein to another type. I am going to show you how to do this step. One stimulus, either inhibitory or excitatory. It is a component, a agent, and it is a cell surface that binds the receptor. So, the receptor ligand binding. It is a signal for the nucleus through cytoplasm. The bind is the cell membrane perturbation. A series of enzyme system activated of a J factor transcription factor activate curve. Inactive of the acid nucleus is vitor. A transcription factor activated for for or a particular part. J information the Otanias Serki. Shape part of the gene activate of a Evangota, take a messenger RNA to Rihobe, to Rihobe, Shaki curve, either put in Tori curve, bound the substance Tori curve, Ottawa, under origin in low elimination curve. Take us a tell eta who say Bakka. This is the adaptation of atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia. The molecular mechanism of adaptation. Direct stimulation of the cells by factors produced by responding cells themselves or by other cells in the environment. Activation of various cell surface receptors and downstream signaling pathway lead to activation of the inactive Transcription factor induces a and transcribe messenger RNA from genes or enzyme system. Messenger RNA induces new protein synthesis or elimination of unwanted cellular component via apoptosis, necroptosis, necrosis, pyroptosis, etc. This process involves a switch by cells from producing one type of protein to another or markedly overproducing one protein, induction of embryonic genes lead to formation of embryonic protein. This is a picture. This is growth factor. This is stimulator. Growth factor, this is the receptor. Growth factor, receptor binding. Then perturbation of the cell membrane and activate a series of steps of enzyme system who is ultimately enter into the nucleus and activate the inactive transcription factor. This activated transcription factor produces messenger RNA. This is the response messenger RNA. This messenger RNA produce either produces protein which causes synthesis of proteins or elimination of unwanted protein in the cells. J messenger RNA take a J product ashlo, J messenger and ashlo, messenger and a J put in the toy corbe, a put in the duto kaz with the body. So the cell, the cellar with the unwanted substance, like a shegulok elimination corbe, agdhorner protein, agdhorner protein, which say the nutum synthesis corazo with Dorkar high, sheguloka synthesis corbe. Morphological types normal basement membrane and nucleus. This is the normal cell. <coughs> This is the atrophic cell size reduced. This is hypertrophic cell. This is hyperplastic cell number of cell increased. This is metaplastic cells, dysplastic cells. Derange cellular growth, cell replacement by another cell type of similar nature. Detailed discussion of different types of cellular adaptation. Step by step, I will discuss the cellular adaptation. Today, we discuss the atrophy. All these types of adaptation, common discussion, definition, characteristics, cause, types, mechanism, clinical significance, how to avoid uh, from this adaptation. That means we have atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia. We have a lot of What is Atrophy definition shrinkage. Shrinkage in 
the size of the cell by loss of cell substance. When a sufficient number of cells involved, the intertissue or organ diminishes in size. Clear? Characteristics of atrophy? Atrophic cells are not dead, but they have diminished functions. Number one, characteristics. Number two, atrophy is a form of adaptive response and may culminate in the cell death. Long continued the adaptation to kote parvana. They thake, tali ultimately death of egg. Tali atrophy is a form of ad, ad, adaptive response and may culminate in cell death. Atrophy of the cell lead to atrophy of the organ. Atrophic cells show increased number of autophagic vacuoles. Lipofixin granules present in cytoplasm and when present sufficient amount the brown discoloration develop. This is called brown atrophy of the organ. What is autophagic vacuoles? It has a jokon atrophy hobby, Takunto or cellar with a unwanted product gulo as a lagbana. Takuno unwanted product gulo, Takun Amre Dakapo Pore, Kibaveta Kurtese, Uta at a membrane arbe, endocrine reticulum thicke, a membrane ta ultimately a gulo the cargo hoi, the gulo unwanted substance, a cargo gulo cura, enclosed corbe, enclosed corre, a gulo can near the way, lysosome. This is lysosome near gallo or lysosome with the duclo. Ducar for a key away, lysosome or enzyme gulu activated. The phagolysosome. This is autophagic vacuum singular. This is the gulu, the road, the denatured cotiba, the degeneration cotiba, the lysis cotiba, the shegulu to sulegal lysis. Amine acid, the very solar, bacagulo sulegal. As you go to parvena, shegulo say pigment is a thug way, intercellular accumulation is a thug way. I repeat it uh, again atrophy, characteristics of the atrophy, atrophic cells are not dead but they have diminished function, atrophy is a form of adaptive response, uh, may culminate in cell death, atrophy of the cells lead to atrophy of the organ, atrophic cells show increased number of autophagic vacuoles, lipofuscin granules present in the cytoplasm and when present sufficient amount brown discoloration may develop, this is called brown atrophy of the organ. What are the causes of atrophy? Decreased workload, loss of innervation, diminished blood supply, inadequate nutrition, loss of endocrine stimulation, pressure effects, and process of aging. Process of aging. What are the causes? Decreased workload, loss of innervation, diminished blood supply, inadequate nutrition, loss of endocrine stimulation, pressure effect, and aging. What are the types of atrophy? Physiological type of atrophy? Pathological type of atrophy. This is normal cells, this is atrophic cells. Causes of physiological atrophy. What are the causes of physiological atrophy? Atrophy in fetus, atrophy in infancy, atrophy in adult life, and atrophy in old age. In fetus, branchial cleft, notochord, thyroglossal duct, atrophied. Infancy, ductus arteriosus, umbilical vessels, adrenal cortex. Adult life, lymphoid tissue, thymus, uterus after perspiration, breast after lactation. Old age, gonads, brain, bones, and other organ system become atrophied. What are the causes of pathological atrophy? Generalized cause, localized cause. Generalized cause, starvation, senile atrophy, endocrine atrophy, Generalized osteoporosis, prolonged recumbency, failure in collagen formation, protein deficiency, scurvy, glucocorticoid excess, and other causes. Local cause: ischemic atrophy, pressure atrophy, disease atrophy, neutropathic atrophy, atrophy secondary to autoimmune disease, idiopathic atrophy. What are the mechanism of atrophy? Decreased protein synthesis. Reduced metabolic activity, increased protein degradation, ubiquitin proteosome pathway, increased autophagy, increased protein catabolism, phagolysosome pathway. This is atrophy. Decreased protein synthesis, increased protein catabolism, decreased mitochondria and myofilaments, decreased endoplasmic reticulum. This is the mechanism of atrophy.
reduction in structural components of the cell. Clear? What is the mechanism of atrophy? Reduction in structural component of the cells by the following way. Number one, decrease protein synthesis, increase protein catabolism, decrease mitochondria and myofilaments, decrease endophilamic reticulum. The cells retreat to smaller size at which survival is still possible. New equilibrium is achieved between the cell size and diminished blood supply or trophic stimulation. Clear? Tell us what is the lap taki hello. All for blood supply, all for nutrition, the or a bisatag. Into a condition of the long continued high, the ultimately cellular injury. Number one, impairment of balance between the protein synthesis and degradation. Number two, increased protein degradation over synthesis play a key role in the atrophy. Number three, the ubiquitin proteasome pathway is responsible for the degradation of many cytosolic and nuclear protein. How they degrade? Protein to be degraded are first conjugated to ubiquitin and then degraded within the cytoplasmic proteolytic organelle called proteasome. What are the stimulator? What are the inhibitor? Stimulator, nutritional deficiency, disease, cancer, cachexia, hormones, cytokines as tumor necrosis factor. Inhibitors of proteolysis, insulin and insulin-like growth factors. Molecular mechanism of atrophy, nutritional deficiency, disease or other causes of atrophy. Activates ubiquitin proteasome pathway. Autophagic vacuoles containing cell organelles are formed. They fuse with the lysosome and thus organelles are digested. For example, there are fewer than normal mitochondria and myofilaments in atrophic muscle. This is a pathway of ubiquitin proteasome system. This is the protein to be degraded. This is the ubiquitin enzyme 1, enzyme 2, enzyme 3. This enzyme by the help of ATP, this protein and ubiquitin form complex. This complex then go to the proteosome. Proteosome have receptor for this ubiquitin. Ubiquitin then uh, transfer the protein, unwanted protein to the proteosome. Ubiquitin then release to cytoplasm. This protein then degraded through a series of enzyme within this proteosome. Some picture to show the atrophy. This is the normal muscle, this is the atrophied muscle. This is the healthy brain, this is the atrophied brain. This is atrophic muscle, a normal atrophic muscle. This is normal brain, this is atrophic brain. This is atrophic. Hyperplasia and hypertrophic. This is the hyperplasia and hypertrophy, gradually atrophied. How to avoid atrophy? Eating healthy diet, getting regular moderate exercise, avoiding smoking or quitting. Do not stay in one position for too long. Thank you all.